Fishing is a tricky business. You must have the right type of bait. What kind of bait are we using today? Stale bread. Stale bread? Who likes stale bread? Should we put some butter on it, Dad? And jam? Yes. We're not going to catch anything with stale bread, old boy. Stick a bit of jam on it. Stop! I'm the captain, so while we're aboard Bunty, we do what I say. Aye, aye, aye captain. captain! Now be quiet. Fish don't like noise. Very bossy, isn't he? This is so exciting. Shh, everybody. Now we wait. Are you sure this is right? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let me have a go. Fine, you'll see. It takes time to catch a fish. I've caught a fish. Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most gigantic-est fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line, and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. Now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. Righto. Tomato! <laughs> that looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job that's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. Wait, <laughs> Princess Holly. These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. Oh dear. Woohoo! <laughs> Elf rocket to mission control. In a few minutes, we will land on the moon. Very good, Mr. Elf. You are on target to land in the Sea of Tranquility. Lovely. Once we're at the seaside, we can eat our picnic. Oh, Nanny Plum, for the last time, we are not going for a picnic. 
Why not? Because this is a serious elf mission to the moon. We can still have a picnic. Ready, everyone? We are about to go where no elf has gone before. Oh, fairy. Oh, yes. Sorry, Holly. We are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Look how high I can jump. This is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. Plant the flag. Done. Three, go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this sea of tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the sea of tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. <laughs> The Royal Picnic Spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Ho oh, oh, ho! How charming! I've got plenty of food for everyone. Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Ben. It isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice, sparkling and cold. Wow! Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. Ben, perhaps you would like to choose the drinks for the children. It can be anything you like. Anything? Can I really ask for anything? Yes, anything at all. Hmm, OK. Lemonade, please. Isn't that a bit boring and ordinary? Elves like lemonade, and I'm an elf. <laughs> but, Ben, you can have anything you like in the whole wide world. In that case, lemonade with a dollop of ice cream. Are you sure you wouldn't like something more exotic? OK, lemonade with two dollops of ice cream. <laughs> Good choice, Ben. Magic basket, please. Lemonade with lots of ice cream. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Phew. For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Run! Oh! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency! Thunder and lightning! North wind blow! Magic spells, away you go! It 
worked! Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Hmm, I don't believe I've ever eaten elf food before. Would you like to try some, King Thistle? Oh, thank you, Ben. Yum, yum. Mmm, elf food is delicious. It really is. Nanny Plum, you must try some. Oh. <laughs> Very well, Your Majesty, seeing as it's a royal command. And here's another royal command. When you have a fairy picnic, always take an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Now, children, is everyone ready for the tour of the elf factory? Yes! This way, please. <laughs> All aboard! Next stop, level 99. Hold tight! <gasps> oh, <wee>! <laughs> <laughs> ah, my tummy! <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the Elf Factory. Goodness me, look at all this rubbish. Don't you ever tidy up? This isn't rubbish, Nanny Palum. These are the raw materials we use to make toys. The plastic bottles are made into glue. The old tin cans are made into clockwork gongs. And the old paper and card goes into the pulping machine. And gets squished into flat sheets, which are folded into new boxes for our toys. Very clever. Elves are very clever. And we're, we're elves! <laughs> Here's our picnic basket. Ooh, I love picnic baskets. You just tell them what you want and they magic up food. <laughs> this is an elf picnic. There won't be any magic. Oh. Mrs Elf always makes a really lovely picnic. Thanks, Mr Elf. But of course you made the picnic this time. Didn't you make it? Uh, oh. What's wrong? We forgot to bring the picnic. We just brought an empty basket. But that's what I was saying. We fairies always take an empty basket on picnics. Magic basket, please. Can I have, um, spaghetti bolognese? Oh, it's still empty. That's because... It isn't a magic basket. It's just an empty basket. Can't it even magic us a packet of crisps? No. Oh. Uh, Holly, remember what I said about not needing any magicking today? Yes, Mr Elf? Well, this is an emergency. So if you wouldn't mind doing a bit of... Magicking! You want me to do magicking? Yes, yes please. please. Hmm. I do know a spell for... Magic jelly? <gasps> no! Not magic jelly! Right. Too dangerous. Hmm. I could try an ice cream spell. That's easy. And there's no chance of that spell going wrong. Silly Ben, 
Spells nearly always go a bit wrong. That's what makes them fun. Well, without magic, we're not going to have anything to eat. That's right. Please, Holly, do your spell. Abracadabra! Ice cream! Hooray! I'm afraid it's only vanilla. I don't know how to magic other flavours yet. That's fine. Vanilla is my favourite. <laughs> Delicious! Maybe magic can be useful sometimes. Thank you, Princess Holly. <laughs> You're welcome. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us. Don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> What did the sheep say? Ahem. <clears throat> the sheep said, Bat. But what does Bat mean? Bat means Bat. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <whistles> <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <coughs> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. <coughs> Hi, Holly. I'm helping Mum make cakes. Ooh, can I help? Fairies are good at making cakes. Of course, Princess Holly. You can help with the stirring. That's my favourite bit. Splashing and sploshing the cake mixture. <laughs> I'd like more stirring and less splashing and sploshing, please. <laughs> <laughs> Splish, splash, splosh, splush. <laughs> Holly, maybe you should do the stirring. OK, Mrs Elf. Very good stirring, Holly. It could have been a bit more splashy. <laughs> Next, we put the mixture into the cake tin. It looks really yummy. Mm, can we have one now? Sorry, Ben. I have to bake them in the oven first. Oh, Can't we just cook them with magic? <laughs> These are elf cakes baked without magic. But magic can bake them really quick. I'll show you. No thanks, Holly. Remember, elves don't do magic. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> 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 Are the cakes ready yet? <laughs> they haven't even started cooking. Oh, maybe Holly should use a bit of magic. I think a better idea would be if you two played outside for a bit and I call you in when the cakes are ready. Oh, do we have to? Just think of some fun games to play. I don't feel like playing games today. What nonsense. You love playing games. My turn to hide. Remember, play fair and no flying or anything. No flying, I promise. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I'll never find anywhere good to hide in time. Said no flying. 
But he didn't say no magic. <laughs> what do you think, Wand? Shall we do a teeny bit of magic? No, Wand. I'm sure Ben won't mind. <laughs> Abcracker dibbly dibble, make me invisible. <laughs> Coming! Ready or not? Hmm. Very, very, very ice cold. Oh. Colder than a polar bear. Hmm. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. I see. <laughs> you might as well give up. You'll never find me. I wonder where Holly can be. Maybe she's not in the meadow at all. <laughs> it's no good. Holly's hidden too well. I'll never find her. <laughs> Found you. Oh. How did you find me? I'm invisible. Oh, I'm not invisible. The magic's worn off. Magic? Oh, um, I was just using a teeny bit of magic. Hmm. Anyway, let's play a different game. I promise not to use flying or magic. OK, let's play a game of... Holly! Children! The cupcakes are ready! Oh, Mrs Elf, do we have to come in? Can we just play one more game? Well, I never. I thought a certain fairy princess and a certain elf found playing games boring. But, Mum, we've hardly been playing any time at all. And you said the cakes would take ages. <laughs> the cakes have taken ages. Have they? The time's whizzed by because you were enjoying yourselves. Time does that. Oh. Would you like a cupcake each? Yes, please. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Yummy. These cakes are the best. And Mrs Elf didn't even use any magic. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I think it was your stirring that made all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? OK. <laughs> I can make this cake disappear. How? I thought elves didn't do magic. Watch carefully. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> 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 